everybody. Everybody, I'm back. Everybody, Jeannie Young is back, and I'm back with yet another amazing recipe. I am so excited today because today at the Young's house, Jeannie Young is going to share with you all how I make amazing liver and onions. This recipe is so delicious. It's so easy to make. It doesn't require a lot of ingredients, and you know, making Jeannie Young style is going to be so tasty. You all never had my liver and onions before. You better make you some. Here are the lovely ingredients you're gonna need. You will need some liver. I have beef liver right here that I have washed with lime juice, salt, and cold water, and then pat dry. You're gonna need some veggies, and we'll be using a green bell pepper and a Vidalia onion. You're gonna need some beef bouillon. This is better than bouillon beef flavor, and you will need some soy sauce. We have some beef broth, and you cannot ever have liver without white rice on the side. Back here, I have some all-purpose flour that we'll use for dredging, and of course, you're gonna need a couple of spices so we can spice everything up. Now, you will need some Sazon. Sazon is gonna give a beautiful, gorgeous color, an amazing taste, and this right here is gonna give that gravy a beautiful color. Now, we have some garlic and onion powder, black pepper and salt. You will need some cornstarch. Make sure your hand are impeccably clean. Let's get started with this really quick and simple, yet so tasty recipe. Okay, everyone, so one of the first things that we wanna do, let's go ahead and get our rice into the boiling water. Those of you that are familiar with me, you know that I love to use the boil in a bag rice. It's so easy to make. All you have to do is boil some water, salt your water, and cook the rice for 11 minutes. 11 minutes is gonna give you that perfect fluffy rice every time. Okay, so here's our bag of rice. We're just gonna use one bag today, and my water over here is already boiling, okay? So I'm gonna get the bag in. I'm gonna put some salt in. Anytime you're making noodles, you're making rice or potatoes, you salt that water for great flavor, okay? So next, let's come over here to our gorgeous liver. And we wanna season. Now when I season this liver today, I'm gonna to just season one side only. Okay, let me pull that up. Here we go. We want every inch of this liver to be well seasoned. Don't be afraid to season this. It needs that flavor. I hope you all are having an amazing day today. Here is the garlic powder, just like so. Get that flavor on there. Beautiful, all right? And next, we're gonna use our onion powder. Same manner. All right, and then we're gonna use the black pepper. Gorgeous. And we're gonna use half of the packet of Sazon on the liver and the other half in our gravy, okay? Just a little bit is needed, just like so. Okay, when I come back, I'll show you what we'll do next. Okay, everyone, the next thing that we wanna do, let's go ahead and get this beautiful liver nice and dredged in the all-purpose flour. Okay, if you have self-rising flour, it's okay to use that. Either of the flours will do the trick. Okay, so I'm just gonna lay it into the flour, just like so, we wanna really coat it. Give it a nice coating, but we're gonna also make sure that we shake off any excess flour because any excess flour will fall to the bottom of the pan and then it'll just burn, okay? So we're gonna do that and this is what we want it to look like. Nice, thin coating. All right, let's get the others. Just like so. Let me know in the comment section below if you all love liver like I do or if you've ever tried it. A lot of people has never tried it. And I highly suggest that you try it Jeannie Young style. Promise you will love it. You will. Okay, everyone, it's time to fry our liver. You want to put, let me show you how much oil I have in my pan to get started. Not too much. We have enough to coat the bottom of the pan. All right, it's not enough to cover the liver. Now we're going to take this liver just like this and give it a nice shake. All right. 
and get it into the pan. Give it a nice shake, just like so. I think I can fit all four pieces. I would be so happy if I can. All right, you want to hear that sizzle. If you don't hear that sizzle, listen here. Don't put any more in. <laughs> that means that your pan's not hot enough. Okay, I can fit the four pieces in. All right, and what we're going to look for is a nice, beautiful golden brown color on the outside, both sides of this liver. And once that starts to happen, I'll be right back. Okay, everyone, we have our rice boiling, we have our liver frying. Let's go ahead and chop up some veggies. Now, here's how I like to do mine when I make liver and onions. I like to cut mine into, I'll show you. Let's get these seeds out. We want to take as much of the white part out as well, just like so. And I like to cut mine into rings. For some reason, whenever I make liver and onions, I always have to have that bell pepper. It's gonna give you an amazing flavor and a beautiful color. Any of the bell peppers that you like to use, absolutely you could. Okay, so we're gonna cut this into rings and I'm gonna use this whole bell pepper here. And next, we're gonna tackle that onion in hopes that it does not make me cry. Okay, so let's dive into the onion and we're gonna cut this onion into rings as well. My rice is almost done. It only has to cook for 11 minutes to get that perfect texture, okay? So now it's time to slice into our onion. Like I said, I'm just gonna do the rings. Same thing, I like to use that sweet Vidalia onion. It's gonna give you a nice sweetness to your gravy. Okay, everyone, our rice boiled for 11 minutes, nice, beautiful, and fluffy every time. So that's done and out the way. Let's come in over here at the liver. Let's give it a nice turn. It's starting to get golden brown. Oh, and that right there, that's the color that you wanna see. Beautiful color. And I tell you one thing, there's nothing like the smell of liver cooking. Oh, what a gorgeous smell. Let's get these turned over just like so we got amazing color this is what it should look like when you turn yours over for the first time beautiful okay everyone so i have some liver that's done let's get that liver out we're going to put it right here onto a cookie sheet i have one that's not done that i want to cook for a little bit longer we have a beautiful color onto the liver that i'm very pleased with Okay, so this one here, it needs to cook a little bit longer. And when I come back, I'm gonna share with you all how I make this delicious, quick and simple gravy. Okay, everyone, our last piece of liver is done. Now, I have poured off most of the oil, but I left some in there for flavor for my gravy. Come see how much oil I left in the pan. Not a lot but it's just enough for flavor. And all of those brown bits that's called fond, we want that in the bottom of the pan. It's gonna create amazing flavor. So now I'm gonna give this beef broth a nice shake. We're gonna get it into that pan. It's gonna create some steam. So you wanna back up a little bit. I'm gonna use as much beef broth as I like because I really want for this gravy to be nice and submerged underneath this gravy. Okay, everyone, time for this amazing gravy. That little bit of sazon that we have left in the packet, put some in there. You don't have to put it all in, but get you some in there. It's great for stews and gravy. That little bit will do the trick. And now I want some soy sauce because I want that flavor in my gravy. Not too much. I want you all to keep in mind the soy sauce does have salt in it. Okay, now we need some pepper. Can't make gravy without pepper. We're gonna put garlic and onion powder, just like so. All right, and the next thing is this Better Than Boyan Beef Flavored Concentrate. Now listen here, when I tell you all you're gonna need is a little tiny bit, that's all I'm gonna use. That right there is flavor out of sight. Do you hear me? But you wanna really mix it in. It'll dissolve on its own, but take the time. If you see the big pieces, go ahead and stir it up very well so it can get incorporated in that hot broth. 
So now I wanna take just a couple of pieces of the sweet Vidalia onion and a couple of pieces of the bell pepper, get it into our gravy base. It's gonna give amazing flavor. Now you're gonna notice that I'm not using all of the onion and bell pepper right now. How come? Well, because when I make gravy and onions, I want for these bell peppers and onions to still have some bite, and I don't wanna cook them until they're nice and mushy. These ones right here that we're putting in, oh, I don't mind. It's going into flavor town in here. It's gonna create amazing flavor. As soon as this comes up to a boil, I'll show you how to thicken up this beautiful gravy. Okay, so now what we wanna do is we wanna make what they call a cornstarch slurry. Cornstarch slurry is so easy, and it will thicken up any liquid that you are cooking. So I have three tablespoons of cornstarch and I have cold water. You always wanna use cold water. Um, or I'm sorry, you wanna use a cold liquid. You can use the broth if you want it to. So let's get some of this cold water right into our cornstarch until you cannot feel that dried cornstarch anymore. You really wanna liquefy it, okay? So let's stir it just like so until you don't feel any of the dry parts anymore. Just like this. And you always wanna wait until your liquid starts to come to a boil. We're gonna put it in and it's gonna thicken up right before our own eyes. Let's go in with that cornstarch. Our liquid is nice and bubbly. It's boiling, okay? Now as you're pouring in the cornstarch, a nice slow stream, just like so, you keep on stirring. You just keep on stirring, okay? Just like so in this manner, beautiful. And it will start to thicken up very quickly. Gorgeous, now what I wanna do, let's go ahead and get that gravy, or um, get our liver right into this gravy in this manner. Oh man, really nestle it down in there. We want all that flavor to permeate all through this gorgeous liver just like so. Don't just set it on top. All right, I can see it starting to thicken up. Now what we wanna do is we wanna take that gravy, put it on top and we're just gonna let it simmer. And when I come back, I'll tell you when, when's the perfect time to put the rest of those onions and bell peppers in. Okay, everyone, our gravy has been simmering for around about seven minutes. Now let's go ahead and put a few of these onions, a few of these bell peppers in. And like I said, don't cook them until they get mushy. Okay, we want them to still have texture and this nice sweetness, all right? Just like so. Beautiful. I'm just gonna let them steam on the top. Put those bell peppers, and I'm, and I'm also going to grab a spoon so I can show you the consistency of what our gravy's looking like, okay? Let's kind of come in here. I'm gonna grab that gravy. Look at this. Oh, <laughs> ooh-wee! That's what you want your gravy simmering in. Beautiful, nice, thick, amazing gravy. Now what I wanna do, I wanna take this time to taste it to see if I'm happy with the flavor. Because if not, we're gonna have to reseason. Always taste so you know what you're feeding to your loved ones. I'm going in. Mm. Oh man, this is good. Perfect. Mm. Okay, everyone, I want you all to see what the finished product looks like. The gravy is nice and thick. I want to turn off the stove right now because my veggies are perfectly cooked. We don't want them to cook any further. When I come back, we're going to plate this up. I'm going to say an amazing prayer, and you all get that first bite. Smothered liver, to, liver and onions, Gina Young style. Make you some. Listen here, everybody. If you all enjoyed this hair video, Give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you click on that notification bell so you can be notified every time Gina Young uploads one of these awesome recipes. Tell your family and friends and everybody you know, tell the whole world about Gina Young and what I'm doing in this kitchen on a daily basis. Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, we want to thank you for another beautiful day. Lord, we thank you for your love time, your mercy, and your understanding. 
Please forgive us for our sins. Come into our hearts. We make you our Lord and Savior. Send your angels down to surround us day and night. Your Holy Spirit to help us make good decisions. Give us peace over our mind in the name of Jesus. We pray that no weapons formed against us shall prosper in Jesus' name. And we bind the devil away from us in the name of Jesus. Devil, you have no authority over this household in Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the roof over our head, the food, the love the peace and the joy that you bring us every day. We thank you for that. Amen. Let's dive in. I can't wait any longer. I'm ready for this liver. Oh, it's calling my name. You better believe it is. Going in right here. Oh, oh man, and it cuts just like butter. I really didn't need this knife. <laughs> oh, wait, I'm gonna, you better make you some. Give me a little bit more of that gravy. Take a bite. Let me know what you all think. Listen here, if you've never tried it before, you say you might say you don't like it. Don't knock it until you try it, Gina Young style. Everybody that's always told Gina Young they didn't like gravy, they didn't like liver, onions, and gravy, they've tried it my way and they fell in love with it. Give it a try. Take a bite. I'm going in. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Mmm. Mm. What a great flavor. Oh, it's so tender. It's got a little bit of a sweet taste. The gravy is amazing. Mm. The veggies are perfect. Mm. <laughs> I have to. <laughs> Woo, well, you're gonna miss it if you don't give it a try. Tell your family and friends and everyone you know about this recipe. And as always, God bless you all. Thank you all for watching. Good night.